protect against skin cancer can be challenging. In today's Health Watch, CBS 2's Marley Hall talks to a dermatologist who answers some common questions. Taylor Marsh uses sun protection daily. When choosing sunscreen, she looks at the SPF level first. I just go for something really high that's clean, hypoallergenic, and fragrance free. From creams to lotions to sprays, finding the right one can be a challenge. Dermatologist Daryl Regal says the best kind is the one you're actually going to use. Sprays are the most commonly used type of sunscreen. The issue with spray is it's hard to sometimes know where you missed. So we recommend you put two coats of a spray on. The American Academy of Dermatology says look for broad spectrum water resistant sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. And it's okay if the product doesn't have an expiration date. Most last about three years. Sunscreen is not required to have expiration dates on it. But one thing that really breaks sunscreen down is extreme heat. So if you leave it in your car, that will actually break the sunscreen down. Most people don't use enough sunscreen and don't reapply as often as they should. Experts say a shot glass full will cover the whole body and reapply every two hours. Even if you have darker skin, you're still at risk for skin cancer. And it's never too late to protect yourself, even if you got too much sun as a kid. The damage you get from the sun is cumulative. There's sort of a meter running on your skin. It literally goes backwards. But if you can slow that meter down. You could improve your risk later on. Marley Hall, CBS News, New York. Now, sunscreen should be applied before you get to the beach or pool. Experts say it takes a few minutes to kick in, especially if it's water resistant. If you're